Hello world. I so part of the reason I don't oh I should do something real quick. Actually hang on one second. Let me do I need to slack somebody a thing. Um the part of the reason I don't uh uh oh, where's that gotta go? Okay, it's over there. Sweet. Started where it finished. Nice. Um Dude. Uh, actually, I should probably leave Slack running, I guess, just so I don't accidentally start it and have it be up in the front and stuff or whatever. Um, yeah, so later than usual, 10, uh, 9.50. Normally, I try and start around 7.38, but it's been a long, long day today. Um, that happens sometimes. But I'm definitely over it to say the least uh why does i keep i wish sublime text wouldn't go up just like two degrees every time you make a new window like if i've if i've got it oops there we go um anyways uh trying to figure out what to do at the moment so i think what i want to do is I got my little scripts running yesterday that go through and rename all my files for me, which is super cool. I'm super excited about that. It's my first little like real command line tool. Um, that's like full installed or whatever, not just scripts running. Well, I guess my photo import script kind of counts, but not really because it's like not like installed installed. I guess I don't know. Uh, music. Uh, but yeah, so I ran a little script through it and got, uh, hey, I actually can't see who that is right now because I don't have the thing up. Oh, it's Steve. All right. Sorry, I had a, I was looking at this to watch for stuff and realized that I doesn't actually have the names in there. So, oh, that's actually the bot that you're talking to right now. Hello, bot. Bot says hi. Oh, perfect. That's actually my mood for right now. Thumbs up, Taylor Swift. She watches the stream a lot too, by the way. She's a lurker, but she's here. <laughs> Who else would it be? Yeah, how's it going, man? Saw you uh, were hanging out in the lobby today or in your thing today. I I just finished work like 20 minutes ago, so I didn't have a chance to do much today. I was gonna stop in and say hey, but didn't have the chance. Is uh today was the last day of classes, right? Everybody's out and about and gone. Hey, Eric from work. How's it going, Eric from work? Nice to see you, man. Or whatever. I hope you had a shorter day than I did today. I just got finished like 20 minutes ago. Um, but Airflow is working now. Um, class is always on their mind. Yeah, until the stuff is over, right? Or until everything's over. Yeah, you seem like a like if I had to go back to school, uh, I think I would enjoy having you as a professor, even though I was just so bad at school in general. Like, I don't know. Um, actually, we would have gotten along really well because I got along really great with most of my professors. I just didn't do any work or any of that. Oh, you've been on PTO? Nice. I'm envious. I'm taking next week, so except of course I'm not because we got all this other stuff that we got to do for all that deployment. Um, so when I'm not doing that, I'll be off, which is not my favorite, but that's the only way we're getting it moving. So that's the way we're getting it moving. Bad school years. Well, I am a curious type. I have been accused of that. Yeah, I can appreciate that. That's one of the things I'm trying to figure out with the um, the tutorial stuff I'm trying to do too a little bit is like trying to figure out how to like, I just went through another like tutorial book and it's the same thing where it's just like, it doesn't, none of them work well, not none of them, but very few of them work well for me. And so I'm trying to figure out like how to like shift the perspective around and get a little bit of a different thing going. Um, 
yeah, it's like I feel like I learned can I can learn some stuff. Um, at least I can now, because um, I I know I know a thing or two about computers, uh, as they say. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I was gonna say something else, to Mr. E Carp. How's Fuzzball? Actually, that's my question. Has Fuzzball still hyper as anything? This comrade and teaching is starting to reimagine where the students are at the beginning. Cool. See you, man. Have a good one. It's starting where you imagine where the students are at the beginning. I wish I'd know where they're at. It's uh, a lot of Fuzzball. Yeah. Uh, Ecarp has a dog. It's about yay big. Um, who has an actual name, but I only call him Fuzzball because he's a Fuzzball and he's awesome. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny. So, like in this in this tutorial book or in the last one that I was just reading, in, a, in like in a bunch of them, like they'll do a thing that's like they'll put up snippets of code that's like whatever. Um, uh, button. Button for span. Uh, here, I'll show you. Let me give you an example, a real example. This is the kind of stuff that you see in a bunch of textbooks. Or in a bunch of books. Y they'll throw lines like this, which, like, I know what I'm doing. And I look at that, and I still have a hard time par parsing it. And so, fuzzball sounds like. Um, but, like, there's all this stuff. So, like, this is extraneous. All right, here, let's, let's do a comparison. So like, this is what shows up in a bunch of tutorials, but here's the trick. All this is extraneous. This is extraneous. And this is extraneous. Secondarily, instead of showing it this way, the way that I was thinking that you would do it is you start with just, so you start out with this. You say, okay, just do this to start with, and then we're gonna fill this in. And the first thing we're going to do to fill it in is we're going to make this. Because you can get some concept of what's going on there. And then we're just going to add, you know, URL to it. So now I can still get my head around what's going on there. And then we're going to take this and we're going to add the link to it. So here's some link. Right. So I can still get my head around all this stuff. And I'm just, I'm assembling it piece by piece. And then the last piece would be like, hey, okay, so we're gonna take this and then and then we're gonna add our variable to it. So now we've walked step by step through it, but without all this other extraneous stuff, var val, whatever. Um, and so now I've got this piece of code and now I can say, okay, so remember when we, and then then we make this and now all we're gonna do is put this inside. Just copy and paste it. This is way less confusing because again, if you look back at this, it's like there's still a little bit of overwhelm, but you at least know assembly piece by piece what's going on with it. Um, but nobody does that. They just, it's the, I, I think this is to your point of not even making it, a, it's, it's almost not thinking about where people are starting because they'll just, you'll throw, and, and the other thing is like, don't even do this. Like what you should actually do is this because this works too like put it on its own line so that everything's easily lined up. And so the comparison between what you normally get and what you could actually use and do and the processor that you do it is just like, I don't think I've seen very, I haven't seen anything that talks through that. Just because you're interested in a problem or concept doesn't mean, yeah, I, that's, and so I wonder how that applies. 
because like some of the stuff too right is like if we're teaching you to code then we got to teach you python or whatever um but like one of the things that i think some of the things in this book didn't do a super good job of was you're building a website but then they like do all the styling and stuff but like you're supposed to be learning the lang like the django language or whatever and like all this other stuff is just extra stuff that you have especially if you're not experienced in it is just more overwhelm and it doesn't necessarily correlate so yeah it's um that's tricky um but i i kind of well I, i've decided at some point i'm going to start writing some of my own tutorials for this stuff um just to see what happens but i i'm going to do it naively and then i want to as, as a first run and then i actually want to go and like get some recommendations from some people I know about like, Hey, teaching methodology and things like that. I want to do that the second time, but it's, but weirdly I want to try it once without knowing anything to see what the naive version of it would be like kind of without ideas in my head. Um, and then actually practice it a little bit and get some, some actual specific things and happening there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, working backwards. And that's... And the other one that I'm interested in trying is... I was talking with somebody else on stream about this the other night. Is they don't... Like, we don't, as a collective community, teach, like, failure and errors. But that's one of the most important things to do is learning how to read error messages and failing. Um, and so, like, I was thinking that, like, you could actually start with that. It's like, hey, we're going to... We're going to intentionally break all this stuff as we go through it. Um, and here's, and, but then, yeah. And so you want to have a target of what you're going to build. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about that. I've got like, so you've got to kick out of this, I think. Um, uh, there's all my drafts that I haven't done yet. The red ones are drafts that need to be done at some point. So. Yeah, so here's my notes so far for stuff that I want to put into my little tutorial. Um, and I've been taking a lot of notes. <laughs> I've been taking a lot of notes. Let's see, how many lines is this? Oh my god, it's way longer than I thought. Uh, 2,395 lines. So I've, I've been thinking about it a lot, to say the least. Should be interesting. Like I'm really, I've got the, I've got the, and I'm thinking, and so the, we'll be talking about this too, because um, I've got some other ideas too about like the web implementation of it. Um, that I kind of want to. I'm still kicking around the idea of, but like making the thing like a not exactly interactive, but kind of interactive, but designed for the web in a way that lots of stuff isn't, um, and seeing what's happening. But yeah, that's exactly. You're we're right in line with each other. I'm just thinking about like the ways to kind of cut things up, because um, you can do all kinds of stuff with the web that I haven't seen done. Where like so that that thing right there that we just did, right? This, you can make that happen like click by click by click. So in a book, it would be kind of tedious to say like do this and then do this and then do this. But if you're just like, if it's just sitting there in a web browser and there's just like, you know, tabs or little advanced buttons or whatever, seeing it move in the same place is a very different feel than seeing it. Cause, cause then you also get the sense of the thing evolving. Um, it's pretty interesting. Hey Merg. Amazing. I like it. I'm like, I like the amazing. But yeah, so that's how I can redesign education. <laughs> I just, I feel like the the tutorial stuff hasn't changed from the time when it was just books. That's not entirely true, because I've seen some stuff out there on the web that's been fine, but like a bunch of it just, it feels like, it reminds me of the early days of the web where somebody would just take a brochure and put it on the website, 
it feels like we've done that with a lot of tutorial stuff too. Um, it's just like, hey, we have this tutorial, this was the book format and here's the online format. Um, and it hasn't, I haven't seen much really kind of get it around. For Poindexter, hey, all right, excellent. Ugh. Um, but yeah, so that's, I don't know, that's a future project. I, I keep working on it every time I'm going through some Django stuff and figuring stuff out that's, uh, it lines up. What would be the other modules, mo modules, models of education besides transmission? You keep giving me all these books to read. And I keep not reading them. Problem posing education. Proposing education solves the student-teacher contradiction by recognizing that knowledge is not deposited from one, the teacher, to another, the student, but is instead formulated by a dialogue between the two. Okay, fair. It's a method of teaching, problem posing. Listen, dialogue, and action. Can you do that with people who are new in an environment? I mean... You've got to, like, there's got to be some amount of transition to start with, right? Oh, Daddy Ching. I haven't seen that in forever. So I think it Serving retains power, ruling class, down over the teacher's level. Instead, education needs to join, work on the problem together. So, and I guess, so, so there's a listen, dialogue, action. So there's got to be somebody talking to start with, right? I guess that's where I'm hung up a little bit, is you got to, like, there has to be a initiation. Not like a, you know, frat thing, but like, like go, a start, start thing or whatever. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I like that. Yeah, someone has to ask the question, right? Steve's gonna say something like. Just showing up is asking the question. Am I close? <laughs> You're having an agreement to have a conversation as soon as somebody shows up. Teaching is a subversive activity. That sounds kind of cool. So uh, there's a teacher who taught a class or a woman who taught a workshop that I went to. Um, have you ever heard of one called Teaching from the Back of the Room? It sounds like it might be related to this, um, where the idea is the teacher is kind of in the back of the room and like, whatever. She kind of talked about it. I can't really tell you the, about it because I forgot. But I like the idea of subversion teaching. The rules of teaching are 30 interrogatives and five declamatory sentences. Then you have to stay quiet. What's an interrogative? I don't know what an interrogative is. I 
I don't even know how to spell it. Maybe Google will get it. Having or conveying the force of a question. Okay. The word used in questions, how or what? Okay. And then declamatory is like statements, right? Y'all professors use such big words. Vehement or impassioned in expression. Impassioned in expression is actually the name of my uh, latest album. Cool. That's really interesting. Yeah, so now you got me thinking, how would you, so if you were, how would you translate that into a book or a web page, right? That's an interesting problem. Huh. Like, cause it's, I'm, like, it is transmissive by nature. I'm trying to figure out how you would do that. I mean, I guess you could like have like, what would you do next or try? Yeah. So there, there is some interactivity that you could add in there, but you wouldn't want it to be like a force thing where it's like, you have to like pump through something to get like I, some stuff I've seen, like, it's like, you got to like, complete one puzzle before you can get to the next chapter. But if you get a little bit hung up, you're screwed. Um, yeah, choose your own adventure. That's kind of, yeah, I like that. Ooh, that's actually really good because there's not a, there's not a, and that's another thing I'm thinking about, right? Cause the, like most of the tutorials are like linear, right? That doesn't have to be like, you've got any number of dimensions you want to move in possible and ways that you could go. And I was trying to think a little bit about how you could branch that stuff. But like, it's kind of weird because if you make some stuff optional, you have to make sure that it's completely detached from other stuff around it so that there's not a reliance on it necessarily back and forth. I don't know, it's a weird thing. Okay. Yeah, and that's that terrible high school book way is the way most of these things are. Um, so it's going to decide where they want to go on the learning path. Yeah, that is lit. I like that. Interesting. Yeah, like I really, I just, I feel like there's opportunity there that hasn't been. And like, I, I haven't looked all over the place. I've looked at a few things recently though, but like I was looking at one today and it's like uh, free code camp, which sounds awesome. Go to my account settings. Uh, where is menu? Curriculum. Here, start at the beginning. So the trick is this is what this starts you out with. And like, I know what I'm doing and I still kind of went, whoa, like that's kind of, there's a lot kind of going on there. Um, I've heard some people talk well about this, but I think it's mainly from people who have some grounding in it already. Um, but I feel like this might be, and I've just barely looked at it, but this might be something that would be a great, if there was supplemental aspects to it or some, something that worked with it. I think there's some pretty good potential here. Um, and I, there's fine potential in general if you, if it works for you, but I think it could be broadened with some, uh, with some extra, I don't know, spice or something. Yeah, it's pretty slick. It's pretty slick. It looks pretty interesting. Well, it looks interesting. And like I've heard, and again, I've heard some people talk about it. So, um, 
And like it's test driven development too, so you get to run tests. But like it doesn't really talk to you about pass the test, which has your challenge. Yeah, so it's like I don't know. It's it's interesting. I'm gonna look at more I thought that said Natalie Portman for just a second instead of Neil Postman. That's where my brain went. Um yeah, the uh, so that's gonna be one of my longer term projects is building that, making a cool thing go or something. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it'd be fun. Uh, in the meantime, I gotta figure out what I wanna do tonight. Uh, I think what I wanna do is mess around with my uh, NASA thing, which I don't remember the last time I opened it was. It's been a bit. So this thing I got working that does uh, Oh yeah, I buy that. I, I think that about basically everything. Everything can like and not Some people kind of think of that as like becomes like a negative thing or whatever, but like no, it's like, oh yeah, do this and this. Like it's there's always and it's always weird to say room to improve, but there's always room to, I don't want to say to evolve, but to like, to modify, like there's, you know, sometimes I don't like putting the word improve on it because it like puts a kind of like a baseline on it, but there's always a new thing to like push against or with or something. I don't know. Um, Cause like, I don't like the idea of pressure for improvement all the time because sometimes you try a thing and it doesn't go. So it's like, ah, we tried it, but we, then we learned something about it. So we may not have improved the thing that we were working on. Oh, my lights just blinked. Let's see if my internet's still there. Maybe, who knows? Looks like I'm still streaming. Hooray. Uh, project. Getting before is. So did I split this out? Test data, JSON, run. Get top level videos, JSON. So did I actually already split this out? Because that'd be awesome if I did. Find that opening. I think I did. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Get individual manifests. Yeah, so this is my little project to grab a... Um, Grab videos from NASA. Get the MP4s. If this is all already done, this is gonna be awesome. Scratch pad storage. I don't know where this is going. Um, I haven't looked at this code in a while. It was not JSON. Video URL getter, but it's not being called by anything. What calls it? Storage, what's in storage? Oh yeah. It's a neat place, right? Did you see a launch, Merg? Or were you just down there for like seeing Canaveral? Maybe I could look at my own readme. Why isn't this not opening the way it should? Oh, this is gonna be on bad. Okay, whatever, we'll just see what happens. This could explode in like six different ways. Work in progress, pull, yeah, okay, that was not a good readme right there, it's not at all. Get MP4s, okay, so. Yep. If I remember right, there's a story, I think they call it 
the vehicle assembly building, the super giant one that when they first built it. Yeah, right. When they first built it, like they had problems with like rain inside because it was so big. I think that's apocryphal, but like, I love it as a story. Um, this like building that they built that's so big that it's like clouds gather. Get video links. See, this is not particularly good code because I can't understand it just by looking at it real quick. Because what I want to try and do is just grab a whole bunch of uh, videos. So the the first one, I, I, I did the first one and it worked. But what I realized is I was going to put this code up on Amazon to let it just run because hopefully it'd be faster. But what I realized is the code that I'd set up was doing a download and then doing splitting and then doing the assembly. And like all that time downloading is time I'd be paying for that isn't worth my time to pay for. What I'm paying, what I want is a CPU power to do the assembly and stuff. I'm not really gonna do much of it because it's still gonna be expensive as hell if I tried to actually do it, but it was an interesting experiment. Um, but right now I gotta figure out, I don't think this is the right thing. So I just finished up another project and so I still, I don't have my brain in this one again. That's the API. Oh, video assembler. That was the one. This is the new one. That's why. But the question is, can I just use this one to just grab the data? Input directory, output directory, get video links. So that's going to go grab JSONs. For file and file list, we're going to parse it. We're loading the manifest. We're looking for original ones. Okay, get video links, except that was not JSON. Output path URLs.json. That's kind of weird. Let's just run this and see what happens. It's not going to run because Python broke. Uh, so actually, let me close out of this so it doesn't freak out. I mean, it's already freaked out, but let me not freak it out anymore. So we've got a virtual environment that we need to kill because I installed some software the other day. And so this directory is about to go away. And then now I got to get my notes because I'm doing I make virtual environments for Python so that each one is kind of its own separate thing. Um, Py environment. So here's my new notes on how to do that. So I'm actually, I've already, I'm down to here at this point. Um, ooh, that's hard to read. Py env. Virtual env, we're gonna go 3.9.0 for venv NASA API. Take it a second. So this just lets me install stuff for one application so it and it doesn't fight other applications. Pi env local, L-O-C-A-L, then NASA API. There we go. And now this little white text comes up here showing me that I'm I'm in that virtual environment. And so now we can bring up PyCharm or Python editor. We can go back and open our project again. NASA API. New window. See ya. Take it easy, man. Have a good night. I'm sure we'll talk soon. Configure Python interpreter. Yes, let's do that. Wait, how? Hmm. Just got.
got to be a better way to do this. Let me kill this again. Let's look at all the files in here. So I didn't pick up Python version. Uh, all right, we're gonna try something. We're gonna clear out. So this directory is PyCharm's directory. We're just gonna nuke it and then go back into PyCharm and just tell it to open a directory and see what happens. New window. Does it automatically pick all that stuff up? No, it did not. Got to say 3.9 down there. Why? NASA API has been in the Python interpreter. That's not cool. We don't like that. That's not really a thing. Thought we killed all those. Python interpreter. Yeah, we don't have Python 3.7 anymore. None of those are alive. How do I delete them? Oh, there we go. Now I can delete them. Yeah, it's invalid. It's not there. Look at that. None of these are there. Do, 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 do. Kill the pythons. All right, so those two are legit. But we don't want to use those. How do we add a new one? Probably the plus button. It's not really a thing. What's going on? Existing environment, no interpreter. Virtual environment, aha. Existing environment, there we go, now I found it. Make available in all projects, do not do that. We want it to just be here, good lord, this is tedious. You're all like, I know. Yeah, so the goal here, if I can figure it out, I'm just gonna run it and we'll see what happens. Ooh, look at that. It did a bunch of stuff there. So that found all the links. What did it actually do? Let me look at that config. Input directory, manifest JSONs, output directory, video URLs. Oh, 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 okay. I gotcha. Oh, okay. I don't know what's happening. I know what's happening. I remember this now. NASA API video URLs. So here's the URLs.jpg or JSON. So this is going to have like 5,000 NASA URLs in it. 5,286. Cool. So now really what I want to need, need to do is do a downloader. Um, I'm going to make that its own thing, I think. Um, so we're going to make a new git repo. Git init bear. Um, don't want it, so it could, I could make it more generic, but I think now nah, it's going to be a, a straight thing. NASA downloader. All right. So go in our dev directory. We're gonna clone that in git repo. Uh, what do we call it? NASA something? Downloader. We go in here. NASA downloader. Now's when. Uh, so here, let's do this. Um, make a readme file. Uh, 
That's a downloader. Doo -doo -doo. Um, takes a JSON in with URLs. Saves the files in an output directory with the names hashed from the URLs and subdirectories set up so there aren't too many files in a single directory because with uh with like 5,000 files you don't want that many files sitting in one directory it'll slow stuff down um so and i've done this once before but what we'll do is make a hash of the url to get a string and then we'll use that string to kind of make directory structures for us um it Commit message initial commit get checkout branch dev. Let's go ahead and add that into our GitHub because I like this one a little easier. Like it easier, like it better, whatever. Dev master downloader open go. Sure, let's do it. And then, oh, and so now we need to do the rest of this stuff to get the virtual environment set up. So we've got our directory, we've got all that jazz. Now we need to do pi env virtual env 3.9.0 vnv nasa downloader. Give it a second or 10. Have some whiskey. Uh, pi and V local DNV NASA downloader. Sweet. Okay. Now we can actually do a little work, maybe. So PyCharm, just tell it to open. Dev NASA downloader new window. Let's see if it picks up the uh... yeah. See that picks it up. So when it when you do it from the start, it looks like it's got it. It's cool. Now the other thing is, I think I kind of want to do this as a command line tool. Yeah, so, and this is just me practicing or going through the practice of test driven development. Tests. Test. But, like, how much is there to actually test on this? Because it's really just. I'm not going to test this. I Like, I can't th think off the top of my head how you would test this. Let's put it this way. If I come into something where it makes sense to test it, we'll test it. That's downloader.py. Yes, please keep adding them. That's fine. Uh, we'll call this main.py. And it needs an init.py. I'm still gonna make it a try and make it a command line thing because I want to get the practice of that going. Um, so there's not gonna be arguments to it. You're just gonna call. So in here, there's gonna be a class. Don't need that.
Yeah, so... I don't actually know if you're going to do anything. So what do we need to do? We need to just loop. We need to pass it JSON file. So we're going to need JSON in here. Because what we're going to pass it is going to be that file that we just closed. Um, so get, uh, get things, get whatever's, um, these aren't all MP4s though. Get videos. How about that? So we want a list. Uh, self video URLs is going to be a list. So main is going to be from NASA downloader import. No, nope, got to do one more, I think. That NASA downloader import NASA downloader. There we go. If name equals main, uh, we're going to do this main. Def main. So ND equals NASA downloader. Load JSON. So we're going to need that. And again, like you kind of could test this, but. I'm just going to open a JSON and read it in. File path. Uh, JSON path. How about that? Pass that. Load JSON. JSON path equals, we will do a test data thing in here though to start with. So, the, oh, this is where we'd want to pass an argument. Um, yeah. Well, here, but let's get it going to start with. Simple, simple first. Um, so, oxygen. Save as, save this into here. Dev, NASA downloader, NASA downloader. Test data. URL's just a JSON, but we're gonna take out most of them. all those leave that leave that save that okay so we got a couple in there so if we run this what happens right now oh, see okay that worked
Unknown parrot. Okay, whatever. It worked a second ago. It's fine. So JSON paths over here, we're in here. That was the wrong thing to do. Don't need Python version. Don't need a net. Don't need readme right now. Test data URLs, URLs.json. I love autocomplete. Mass downloader with open JSON path read as JSON file self video URLs equals JSON load JSON file and then actually what we want is the URLs thing I think print self video URLs there's our URLs okay And then it's just going to be ND get videos. I like this pattern. Make it, configure it, run it. That's probably a pattern that is well worn by lots of people already. I get it. And then here, we're just gonna do for video in self, video URLs, uh, I guess video URL. Uh, well, I guess what we should do, here's where you could do a little bit of a test, but I'm just gonna run through it. Yeah, see, you, I could kind of throw a test in here, but um, I'm need MD5. Hi, MD5. Yeah, maybe we should do a test. So, yeah, let's do a test. Let's figure out where to test it or how to test the parts that we can. It's supposed to be tests, isn't it? Where's rename? It's under refactor, which always throws me for tests. Test. That's a downloader. Pi. Whoops. Pi. So this one actually is a thing. User bin. Python 3, import unit test, class, NASA downloader test, unit test, test case. Set up, nd equals NASA downloader. Oops, we need to do this. Now here's where it'll be interesting to see if the modules work. Sometimes this has worked for me, sometimes it hasn't. If name equals, oops, main unit test main. Go. 
Is this gonna work? Ran through a test. Okay, so it didn't explode. At least I don't think it did. Def, here, let's do a tone test. One test around. Okay, yeah, so that works. Sometimes this module import stuff was not working for me. Probably somehow with the environment that I had set up, but like it is now, so it's super cool. I'm digging it. Um, but so now the, the question is, where to kind of break in the tests. Because I don't want to... So... Like we don't want to make this stuff too tricky. Well, actually, I guess we can just do this, right? It doesn't matter. So we've got that. Yeah, okay, so let's start let's start at the end and see what's happening. So expected what we're looking for is a list of dictionaries where URL Subder. I'm not sure what it's actually going to be. File name. Oh, okay. Hang on. ASDF dot MP4. Yeah. Okay. So this is where testing can help us. MOV. Because we need to make sure that all that stuff's lining up. All right, so let's actually do this. So we can test MD5 string, oops, MD5 string. So this gets us a hash, which is just a random assortment of all this junk. They will always happen if you put that URL in. And I want to use the first two characters of each one of those. And then the whole thing itself as the file name. So I'm going to have a subdirectory here and then a file name here. Um, that will make sense soon. And then so we're going to do the whole thing again. Where we're going to take this here. We're gonna figure out what it's actually gonna be. MD5 B. So there's and these things are always 32 characters long. I think it's 32. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems about like. And then just the first two again. So that's what we want. And then real quick, we're gonna make a second copy of this and we're gonna put it in actual. So like right now, if we run it, our test is gonna break because that's not at all the same thing. Oh, also ND is not defined, aha. So we found something else out first. That's why we test or why we run tests a lot. Now, if we run it, we should see 
yeah, those things aren't equal because all the gobbledygook is not equal to string. Click to see the difference. Yeah. Okay. So there's the hash. String is unequal to that. So now we're going to move this in, and this is going to be equal again. So we should be green. There's green. And then what we're going to do is ND. What do we want to call this? Um, download blueprints. Okay, so this is going to crash because that doesn't exist. We're going to make it exist. I'm going to get rid of this for now. Oops. So now we're going to pass. No, failed. Why did that fail? Perhaps one protection for itself. What? Oh, uh, I didn't do this. Always do that. I need to put that in my notes for this load list. Tomorrow is going to be a day where I catch up on the blog. Thinking about taking uh, all the stuff that's not um ah, fuck this noise. Sorry, bear with me one second while I figure this out. Where you don't. Instead of that. Yep, okay. Now it should be green. There we go. Yeah, so I'm thinking about like my blog is turning into just stream notes and just the automatic things that track where I go, but I'd rather not see all that stuff all the time. So I'm going to move those over somehow to get them another place and then just have like posts, which hopefully will make me more encouraged to post. Um, but so now what we're going to do is we're going to put action, we're going to use this to build the stuff and that's going to blow up. Yep. So now we're just going to hard code this in to get passing again. And that should pass. There we go. So now we can do the work. Did I make this too complicated for myself? Cause like you need to loop through the stuff. Yeah, I'm actually gonna make it one easier for me and just do this. And get rid of this one. That's the commented out one. You wanna get that last piece though. And we're just going to drop this. So we're just going to do one. It's weird because it feels like you should do two for the loop to like catch exceptions or whatever. But like. Everything's still passing. Yes, we're still passing. OK, so now. I'll come up with better names for this stuff later. Turns value equals this. And then for video URL in self video URLs. Don't need that. What we're going to do is just 
return value append. So this is, we're gonna, up here, we're gonna be making the list, basically. So URL. So video URL. Whoops, that didn't work. And then we're just gonna paste these two in because I think this is gonna give us So let's just see if that still compiles. It does. So now if we hide this one and run it, it still passes. Okay. Yeah, so we're just slowly but surely we're gonna fill in these values going through this loop. And so that part's easy. So now what we need is a hash. So URL hash. Well, here, let's not do this yet. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do this. URL hash. Is this subdir So we should really should call it file name. Keep it name the same thing. So file name equals file name, subdir equals subdir. All right, I'm gonna crash this for a second. Yeah, three and three A, so that's off. Now it should pass again, there we go. Yeah, so now I just need to fill in these with methods. Sweet, okay, and so what we do to pass those in is make URLs, or is make uh, thingamabobs. So what we need is Nope. Hey. Yeah, the uh I went uh I went dark mode. Uh but this I'm in I'm back in PyCharm. Um I was messing with VS Code for a little while, and it just PyCharm has a few things. Like the biggest one is, I can run this test file from here. I can jump over here to this file, edit it, and then hit Control R, and it runs a test file again. I couldn't figure out how to make that happen in code like instantly with a hotkey, um, and like being able to edit the thing and then just cord in to do uh, to do the test was worth it. So PyCharm wins for now. I'll probably still use code for some other stuff, but like for Python, like shockingly, the specific one that's built directly for a given language works pretty well for it. Uh, def test, oh, what are we gonna do? Um, make file name from URL, oops. So, and I actually want to use a different string just so I don't screw myself here. Um, URL equals uh, example.gov, whatever, it just has to be something different, and slash video 9000.mfe. Uh, sure, why not? So that should still run. Uh oh, what happened? I exploded it. Invalid syntax. Uh, right there. That doesn't work so good. There we go. I'm sorry. Um, expected. So we're going to hash this. Yeah, because we're going to use the full hash. String go that. So there's our hash string. We want that. 
we're just gonna paste that in to start with. See how that goes. You slept too much. Screw with your sleep schedule, man. It'll mess with you. Either that or you're getting sick, which I hope you're not getting sick. Um, but no, that kind of, that stuff messes. I, I don't know about you, man, but that stuff messes with me. Um, if I swap where I sleep and then sleep too much in different ways, I just, I feel like a zombie. So go to bed at a good hour, get some good sleep, sleep, wake up, rinse, repeat for a couple days. You'll be fine. I'm guessing. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe getting a little hot or a little sick. That's cold season or whatever it is. Just don't get the, you know, the bad one because that wouldn't be good. Ah, but you're young, you'll be fine. That is, that is low. Hmm. Yeah, go to bed at a decent hour. Don't, don't, don't get too crazy. Sleep well, you'll be all right. Hopefully. I believe. Yeah, that's, uh, I slept, uh, the other day I was like, I slept and did those things where I woke up and it's like a little sore. And I was like, I don't, didn't do anything, but it was just like, I think maybe fighting off a little something or something. Uh, all right, we got that. Now how, and then so then what we need to do is make file name from URL. And we're gonna pass it the URL. So this is gonna explode because that doesn't exist yet. We just wanna watch it explode, explode, cool. Let me make it M def mat, uh, and then it needs to have a URL pass. So run should be green. There we go. Uh, now I try and use it. It's going to blow up again, blows up again, but then we return this equals that return. URL. Actually, what are we turning? File name? File name. File name. Okay. Ah. File name. Does that work? Does. Except, of course, really what we need to have is .mov here, which is the whole point of this. So that's going to blow up because we're not in the same. But we can get back there with this. Ah, we're gone. Now I just need to make that, uh, which actually shouldn't be too bad. Ah, oh, come on down. Twitter's where I spend most of the day, like tweeting or whatever, and occasionally reading it. Some, but it's like, I don't know, it's kind of an awful place half the time. But um, no, it's uh, that's. One of my, it, if I had to choose a favorite social network, that would be it by far. I would have, with as much photography as I used to do, I would have thought it would have been Instagram, but I just, I don't shoot or do as much of that stuff anymore. So, uh, who knows? Um, okay, so we got the URL. We can get that. So can you do pi base pi file file extension? What's the best? I don't have a I don't have notes. So you could just grab the base name and then do a slash or do like a split on the dot and grab the last thing. Yeah, why not like but I'm just wondering if there's a Python module to get it. Um, Python get file extension. I would just split on a dot. I've been here before and pull the last thing, right? It was path split text. 
Use OF pass split text. Well, like most manual spinning program, will correctly treat ABC as having no extensions, CD, and will treat bash as having no extension instead of extension bash or C. Oh, cool. That is cool. Pi, get file, extension. A-X-T-E-N-S-I, get file extension. Now we're working. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, like the, the owners of platforms and the owners of things like I go back and forth like, ah, whatever. I mean, like, I feel like they could definitely be doing a lot more good for the world. Um, I mean, like, Twitter could be doing a lot better stuff in different ways. But, like, I don't know. I'm just on the thing, doing the thing. Um... So that's cool. Let's do this, Code Runner. Oh, no, I, actually, let's do this on the scratch pad. Uh, where's the scratch pad? There's a scratch pad. Look at this, right here. Already got it. No, wait, oh, that's mine. File by extension. Uh... So we get files, you can use import file. Here's some examples. Oh yeah, file split text, this is it. This is exactly it, I already, already had it. See, I, I don't have it. I need my notes and my scratch pad, my executable thing to get together. Um, uh, so right now I'm back to building my little video downloader thing um, where I don't, remember if you knew about this one, but I'm making random assembled videos from NASA to go with the free MP3s that YouTube has to upload, to like make music videos for them. But I'm, I am still working with Django in general. I just finished one of the like Django for beginners books and like now I'm actually gonna go like try and build some stuff with it. Um, but I wanna get this video process running to kind of close out that project um, before I start messing with the next one. I'm trying to get better about doing one thing instead of doing that many things and not getting any of them done. Um, it's a work in progress, to say the least. Uh, sweet. So I should just be able to do... That's the wrong thing. We can close this one. Uh, so we should be able to just do this. NASA split. Sorry, NASA. Listen to me. Um, file name, file extension. Right. File extension equals that. And we need to import OS. So print. Well, and so actually here, let's do, I'm trying to get better about debugging. So if I put a little thing here and try and run debug that's like it'll do. Yeah, file name, file extension. Okay, so it's got it. Stop. I don't know how to stop it. Escape, stop, double stop. Whoops, done. And then URL hash equals pi md5.
Import hash lib. That was itching. It's all the cocaine. Um, return string. So if we do that with the URL, and if we run this, URL hash three eight blah de blah de blah de blah. That's perfect because now I can reassemble it. File name. We're gonna go into an f string. URL hash, and it actually has the dot on it, so we can just do this. Whoops. File extension. Now let's see what happens if we pass that back. We'll stop. Run. I think it just worked. It did. So there's that. Just run the full thing here. Two test pass. Yep. <laughs> just kidding. Not, not, not recently. 20 or 30 minutes. No, just kidding. Um, but now mine is really, is a, like I'm thinking about it now. It's just like, oh God. All right, so we've got our URL. We've got our name. Oh, so now we can go back up here. And our file name is going to be make URL from file name. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna delete that one yet. We're gonna leave it there because we like we're green or everything's passing right now. So I want to make sure I'm stay one step away from green. Um, I'm naming things differently here, but I'm okay with that right now. Wow! Well, well. Oh, it's got to be called URL. URL equals. Now it's going to happen. Passed. All right. So we can get rid of that. And then, so I think you can just do, Python get first to, actually, hang on. Let's just try it. Um, whatever string equals that print string can't you just do zero comma two or something like that nope zero colon two what does that do and yes there you go start at zero go two so if we reverse these put this down here do file name zero colon two, run it, all our tests are passing. Should probably commit this at some point. Oops. So if we go back and look at this, so indie video URLs. I, mean, I guess you could test loading a JSON, but that's like just loading a JSON. So. Return value, return values, yeah. 
load JSON, make file name for video URLs, get videos. Do we have get videos yet? Wrong file. I don't think we have get videos yet. We don't. So what happens if we just run this? This is gonna explode, right? Because we don't have get videos. Also, we should spell get videos, right? We got D E O S. E C D E F G H I J K L. Def get videos self. For. Blueprint in download blueprint, which really should be an S. Let's call it an S. Just gonna freak this out. Self download blueprint blue giga 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 download blueprints. It's hard to say. Um so we want pi get web page. Surgeon pulls down a file, text or image or video, saves it, including making directory if necessary. Temp files made first, make sure the process is complete. Also, it only saves the file status as 200. Oh, actually, I don't know. Python requests temp file. I don't know if you actually need to save the temp file or use a temp file. Go to download a file from internet, create from it file like object without ever touching the hard drive. This is for knowledge. Uh, response, just pass the stream true. It's not helpful. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to do this because I already got it. Oops. Self URL file path. So we need requests. We got the rest of the stuff. Oh, we need path. Oh, request isn't there, huh? Gotta install that. Oh, whoops. Pip install request. Where's my setup example here? I want to go ahead and put that in while I'm thinking about it. NASA downloader, new file, set up the pi, paste. NASA downloader, find packages, console script. NASA downloader. NASA downloader main main install request requests.
Uh, so we also need to set an output directory. Output root. Hmm, I need to configure that. Or I guess I could do my own arguments or whatever, but like I'm just gonna get it working first. This is where you should read a config file somehow. I still don't have a good setup for doing that. All right, let's just get one working now. Um, Downloader, okay. Output path equals self output root slash blueprint. Subdur, why did that complete? Something's freaked out. Oh, because it's not does. Actually, here, let's do this. I want to do double quotes out here and single quotes in here. enough string anymore that's kind of getting too long so self output root blueprint Subdur, blueprint, file name. And we've got the URL. So calling it yet uh yeah so i guess we just run this and get it oh uh, so we should have assembled the output paths and tested those hmm. Hmm. yeah we can do that
Yeah, okay. We'll just update this test. Uh, do we want to update this test or do a new one? Let's do a new one. I'm trying to figure out how to stay green on it. I guess you can just back out and... Um, you know, he's on a website to make. Uh, I'm brain fried right now. I can't help you. Uh, you could make a website. I'll help. Random text generator. That isn't really what I was looking for. Random word. Random word generator. That's what we're looking for. One word. Clash. What does that bring up? Not helpful. Giant. Make a website for giants. For giant babies. Who are spherical. And poop a lot. Uh, allowance. Ooh, allowance tracker. There you go. Something for kids so they can, like, figure out how many chores they need to do before they get allowance. <laughs> My brain is fried. Like, I'm, I'm pushing to see if I can get through this right now. Otherwise, I would make more funnies for you. But, like, it's a struggle right now. Indy output root equals some path. So this is still going to be green. Yeah. Okay. Here. Actually, this isn't awful. Output path. Yeah, we want to have this assembled is some path. So even though we're duplicating some of this stuff, it's fine. That, and then all that. So this is gonna blow up. So what we're gonna do right now is just hard code this in to get us passing again, right here. There's our pass. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to do output path equals that. And put this down here and run and still passing. OK, yeah, so now I just need to build the output path. Close all that. Oh, that's interesting. You know, I'm not sure. For as much of a, as I've heard about it, I don't know that I've ever actually been on Product Hunt. Product Hunt. Product Hump is a totally different website. Zendesk for startups. Slack rebuilt in Google Sheets. Is Gumroad? Oh, I'm thinking of Silk Road. Sorry. Different thing. Oh, Tailwind. That's not really a product, is it? It's just a library? Yeah. Look. Hmm. 
uh, CSS library, basically. Um, I heard about it yesterday for like the third time. So, um, yeah, but it's supposed to make it easy to build websites, right? It's just a CSS library, but it's supposed to be pretty solid in terms of the stuff you can do with it. Um, I'm assuming all this stuff is built with it and I don't know, it's pretty. Uh, so it's supposed to be pretty slick to do stuff. Build whatever you want, seriously, get started. Playful. Elegant. Brutalist. It's like, this is like, it's cool for me because like I don't, I haven't done much CSS stuff in years. So like, I'm gonna play around with this when I start messing around with my site again. Um, Cause I wanna, like, I'm not gonna build my own CSS. I wanna build off a framework. I don't know if anybody does their own CSS much anymore, if everybody has frameworks or whatever, but like, this looks like, I like what I see here. So um, I will experiment with it. That's weird, I'm not like a design person, so. <laughs> Nothing beats you, <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, it's like Bootstrap, I think. Um, you are a little crazy, but like in that good way. You gotta have a little crazy, right? Um, yeah, I. it's been, so I stopped doing CSS at like CSS 1.5 or something. Um, so all the new stuff for me is just like, I don't know what any of this does. Oh, you can make a player? That's cool. Doesn't work. Okay. This is a very long page. Hundreds of these examples. See, this is what I want. Is I want the Legos. Like, once I've got the Legos, I can figure out what I want to do with them, but like I don't want to have to make the Legos. I used to like doing that. I, that's not where I'm at now, especially because I don't know the language anymore or the, the languages underneath. Um, but yeah, this is on my list of things to look at and do. Uh, first, ooh, we can turn that off. Uh, I'm determined to finish this tonight. So, what do we want to do? Def test make output path from, well, I'll just make output path. I'm not sure what we're going to pass to it yet. Um, expected. a example path dot mp so it shouldn't matter what I pa like I don't think it's like I need to keep these things all independent so I don't know like the mp it shouldn't I just need to feed this thing I don't want to have to worry about the mp5 stuff so it's good that I don't have mp5 stuff in here um run that that's cool it's passing and then we're just gonna run it make output path so what are we gonna need to have the output path we're gonna need to have so the directories the top level directory is already there We need a subdir. And we need a file name. Oh, actually. I really want it to be the file name that we actually have. So we're gonna do this or this. This is gonna become that. And we need to duplicate this 
here and here. So right now it's gonna freak out because we don't have that there. We're gonna make it. Subdur file name. I think that gets us passing again. It does. This is gonna break. because we're not passing the right thing back. We can fix that. Passing, okay, so now I can make it. I get rid of this. Do that. Uh, sweet, so. Oh, we need to set the output root. In the output root equals example path. This is like super simple, but like I want to make sure it's tested. So because I didn't like doing all the assembly up there when I was in the middle of it, right? And also it's like, it's kind of critical to get the path right. So self output root subdir file name. totally could have done that somewhere else, but that's okay. All right, are these all passing? Those are all passing. And then... Self make output path, subdir equals subdir. Yeah, file name equals file name. So if we take that out, are we still passing? <gasps> we still passed. Oh, this kind of freaks me out when stuff works. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I, and I completely get that it's like not... If you if you build with really strict Legos, you're gonna get something that looks like it was built with really strict Legos, right? Um, I don't have the expertise to not use Legos right now, so I need them to do anything. Um, otherwise, I'm just grabbing a random theme and doing it and like trying to poke around with it or whatever. But like the if you've got the skill and the capability of doing it, absolutely do your own thing. For me, that's not where I'm at. Um, so mine's gonna, mine will look like a Tailwind site, right? It's gonna look like the thing that it was built on. Um, but I'm okay with that. Uh, Cause that, that'll let me at least do something more than I've got going on with it right now. So it's like improvement, even though it's not like all the way out there, right? Yeah, so, um, and, and fast too. Like, and so it will be like, I, it would take me, like I it would be so much faster than if I had to, for example, learn about all the CSS stuff again in order to actually go like build my own stuff, which I'll mess around with it and I'll figure some of the stuff out, but like, I don't know, grid. Like, I don't know anything about grid. I know it's there. If that solves for that and they can poke and whatever, and then I can look at it and then mess around with it. Don't get me wrong, I'll do that. But um, I don't, I can't, I don't have the the cycles at the moment to, to do it for, uh, from scratch. Uh, all right, so that gets us the output path. So then down here, where's get video? Yeah, see this just felt gross, putting this in here. Like, get video should just be, we're gonna loop through it. I like short methods.
URL equals blueprint URL. Uh oh, what's it called down here? File path. My name is slightly inconsistent here, but whatever. File path equals blueprint output path. I think that's it. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I should go with pip8 or whatever. All the tests are passing. Shall we try it? Test data URLs. It's going to go to the desktop NASA something. Go. Ooh, it's thinking. I maybe should have put in some type of output to let me know what's going on. Oh, finished. Did it do anything? NASA videos. There's NASA video. Got it. That was that. It's kind of terrifying is what that is. Sweet. Okay, there's my video downloader. Now I can just leave that running all night and completely hose my hard drive. Because uh, it will just keep going in forever. Uh, though we should put in... Like, it's going to run the command line, but still, I mean, I'm not really going to pay attention to it, but it's not a background thing, so getting, or how about this? Saving, what the hell is that? That to that, which will be very long paths, but that's okay. Oh, you know what I should do? Shit. The other thing I should do is look and see if the file exists. Here, let me, let me commit this for a second. I won't. So, like, if I can, I'm gonna be able to start and stop this thing, or if it crashes or whatever, I want it to know not to get the same things. If output path, and again, I'm not really gonna test this, really. Like, I'd have to fake the file system or whatever, which I could do, but like, it's I don't think this one quite warrants that. Um, already have that at 
Да. Това ме трио. Consistently using our strings there, but whatever. It's late and I'm tired. All right, so now if we run this, we should see output, and that output should say we already got the files, which it does. Sweet. Um, oh yeah, the other reason for doing all this stuff was to clean up all the URLs. Just to, like, I don't want to have to try and figure out how to mush the URL names together or whatever, but. Um, I guess I could have, but like, I don't care. Um, no, oh, moved on MP4. Yeah. Oh, perfect. It, yeah. It did the thing it was supposed to do. One's moves, one's MP4. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Mm. <clears throat> this is going to be awesome. Gonna be awesome. Okay, I'm Cash. That'll do it. Have a good one. See you next time, whenever that is. I'll be on. Um, I'm taking most of next week off, so I'll be around probably for an out streaming. So swing by, say hi. Till then, see ya. <laughs>